What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Kid Icarus Uprising update, and I'm officially back. Um, I do want to tell you guys a little bit about my trip, but that isn't going to be the main focus of this video at this moment. Maybe a different video. I will tell you guys about that. But for the most part, um, a lot of Kid Icarus Uprising news has came to the light and so keep up what you guys keep up with me you guys um i'm a little bit new to this news right now usually i know about the news before i do the update but since uh, i'm trying to get this out pretty fast um it's kind of new to me so um let's see where should we start now about the gamestop tournaments um on the official site they have the locations have been named and uh, dates and times and rules actually so I'm gonna tell you guys and sorry I am actually sucking on a haul because I have gotten sick by someone on the bus um, on my way to Texas so bear with me guys um, so location and times it says and I was right. It says uh, for the first one, it will be in San Francisco on March 8th at GameStop on um, 151 Powell Street, uh, number four, San Francisco. Like I said, I knew it was going to be on Powell Street. I said that in my last update, and I actually went to that GameStop um, in San Francisco, and it is a fairly huge GameStop. Um, so I was right about that. So in Orlando, it will be on March 11th at the GameStop on um, 81, uh, 15 South John Young Parkway, uh, Sand Lake, Florida, and um, it will be the open game, the open game play um, from 10:30 to 10:30 a.m. to two. 2 uh 2 o'clock p.m. uh the tournament the tournament sorry guys the tournament starts at 3 p.m. and as for the one on San Francisco it will uh, the open gameplay will be from 10:30 to 3:30 p.m. 10:30 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. and the tournament for San Francisco starts at 5 o'clock p.m. As for Los Angeles, it will be at GameStop, seven, seven, um, seven. Oh my God, I'm just tired right now. Um, it will be at seventy one hundred Santa Monica Boulevard, um, number one seventeen West Hollywood, California, and the open gameplay is from ten thirty to three thirty uh PM and that is for actually all the dates. So and the tournament starts at five PM. So um the last and final uh tournament will take place which will depict the winner will be in New York City which the final and launch event will be on March twenty second. And that is Broadway, um, Broadway, and uh, I don't know, 18th Street. So bear with me, guys. I am new to this information as of now. Like I said, um, before I do updates, I actually know the information pretty much by heart, uh, with some exceptions. And again, uh, 10:30 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. And the event is from 5 p.m. to 9. PM. It's pretty long. Um, and it says the game will be on sale during the event hour. So either way, you don't even have to go there to watch it. You can just go buy the game and, you know, whatever, everybody else, whoever wins, whatever. You're just winning a free game. That's it. So um, that's with uh, that news, guys. And sorry, that was a bit debauched. Um, I am... Like I said, fairly new to the information um, as of now. So, um, about um, AR cards, uh, 
Game Informer April issue will come with a free Kid Icarus Uprising AR card. And I know some of you guys have already received this. I actually have Game Informer, but I have the digital version, so I will not be receiving an AR card from them. But I know some of you guys have received them, and you actually posted on one of my uh, previous updates that you have received one. So that's good for you guys. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Game Informer, I encourage you to be subscribed since they are not as biased as they used to be. Um, so definitely try out uh, Game Informer, especially for their exclusives. So if you guys don't know, the official site was updated, which was quite a while ago. So um, not much new on this, but the Japanese site has uh, a look at multiplayer and stuff. Um, basically, same information. Of course, it's in Japanese, but we cannot uh, understand it. But at the same time, we know what's going on. We know the rules and the the um, outcome of all the battles and basically everything we need to know about multiplayer. So there's nothing really new except for new screens, which you will be seeing. Uh, throughout the video um, and about idle toss um, it says here that um, players will be able to exchange game coins for in-game idle figurines similar to trophies in the uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, series um, exchange them for egg capsules and crack open these eggs to reveal the idol inside. Um, the more coins you put in, the better your chances of obtaining a figure you don't have. So if you ever played Super Smash Bros. and played the kind of lottery, the coin lottery, you would know exactly how this system is going to work. So that's pretty cool for people who actually like to see in-game models of um, characters that will appear in the game I know I do I will just look at at them and see the bios and stuff that is cool that is the one thing I uh, truly do love in the Super Smash Bros franchise um, when it was first introduced in Super Smash Bros Melee was the ability to look at trophies and learn even more about um, these other franchises that Nintendo has created that are not in the spotlight as of now so <coughs> excuse me yes I am getting sick which you know I'm not really proud of because I was doing well till I got on that bus so oh boy so in addition to the the uh, update to the site it's about the space pirates which this is a fairly old update um, and the space pirates crew it gives you some bio um, a, some bios in um, on the weapons for staffs palms and clubs uh, also cannons and obatars so it's everything I pretty much described to you guys in other updates, so it's nothing much to announce to you guys. Um, but if you guys want to check it out yourself, go to the official uh, Kid Icarus Uprising site, which I'll also have a link to in the description for you guys to see for yourselves. And also, I'll have a link to all my sources on the information that is presented in this video for you guys to see for yourself, so you you know won't feel like I'm just telling you lies like some people apparently seem to think I'm doing because they never look in the description which a lot of people have a problem with nowadays so I don't know if that is all the news but I know one thing that I'm specifically wanted to talk about and that is the official Nintendo magazine giving Kid Icarus Uprising a review score in fact it's the first review score um, of the game and um, they give it a 91% and at any other gaming site standards that will be considered a 9.1 so that is pretty spectacular and I'm actually trying to find uh, the source to that 
Uh, one minute. Mm. So I can get some of what they highlighted. Uh. <coughs> so um, it says right here, and I will have the link to this where it's a uh, they where other sites have highlighted the key um, features that the reviewer has uh, put out in his actual review that he uh, loved about the game. So it is right here and I will quote it. It says, it's stunning to behold, in fact, a visual masterpiece on the 3DS that routinely surprises with impressive expansive and detailed sprawling landscape it says rich fantasy world which has been excuse me teased from the abstract visuals of the 8-bit NES game so the original the single player campaign is huge for start and it sits alongside two full featured local and online multiplayer modes offering countless equipable weapons and powers that work across both it takes the uh, it takes perseverance to comfortably wrap your paws around the game's on foot sections but adds that um it's intuitive enough once mastered so I have heard from other previews that um, land uh, air base battles is um, in the game. The sections in the game are actually very smooth, but when you get to land, the land battles, that's when you actually have to have a learning curve with the controls. So I'm all good with that. I mean, uh, not every game has to play so easy that, you know, a a child, a little kid, uh, or baby, three-year-old can play it. I mean, um, it doesn't have to be that simple for it to be fun, um, unless you really just, you know, are a complainer and whiner, and then don't buy the game if you don't like how it controls. Simple as that. Instead of trolling everybody on a site that likes the game. And it also goes on to say it feels um, far bigger than the console upon which it appears it's deeper than most home console titles and more content packed than any other 3ds game yet released pit might have been sorry to keep us waiting but this was a wait worth every second so hopefully we'll see similar reviews from ign GameSpot, and game trailers um, Game Informer, which I think their review is this month in um, Game uh, Game Informer this month in April issue. I am not sure. Maybe in May. I, I have no idea. One or the other. So I think that's it for this update. I think I covered basically everything. If I left anything out, guys, just tell me in the comments below. And yeah so that's it for this update guys i'll be doing more updates on kid Icarus uprising as more things are revealed as the release date approaches very fast in about two weeks so just a heads up right now i do not have wireless internet so i am not able to connect wirelessly to my 3ds so hopefully that will be fixed before this game comes out uh so that i can actually play online uh, for my review so again that's it guys and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also join my facebook fan page which i will also have a link to in the description so again thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next video